Hi guys, welcome back. So now we are going to discuss about another two tasks, right? So in the last video, we discuss about user task as well as service task, right? This is a service task. This is a user task. In this video, we are targeting send task as well as script task. Okay. Let me create a, again the new ta task in the process itself. Okay. Okay. So so first, first let's see the send task. Okay. Okay. So just giving the properties, just opening the properties panel. I'm just giving the same name as send task. Okay. Okay. If you see that actually, so there is no difference in the service task as well as send task. Okay. So service task also having general listener input output field injection extension and the implementation stuffs same for here as well then what is the difference so then why we need this send task okay so basically as per functionality okay so there is no difference in the service task as well as send task but if you if you want to perform some business logic okay which you are calling some uh, like uh, other APIs or which you are calling or sending some emails or sending some messages to other system. If you want to visualizing, if you want to show to user that see you are in this stage, you are going to do some outsourcing process. If you want to visualize that, then we can go for a service task. Okay. Otherwise, no need of service task itself. Okay. So hope you understood, right? So service task is nothing but it is same like a sorry send task is nothing but it is same like a service task okay but when you want to perform some external operation you are sending message or calling the another api then you can go with this send task so that in visually you can see that okay so you can see this message box right so you are going to send something to other system you can come to know that okay when you are seeing this process itself okay so that is the one and only purpose we are using the send task okay so if you see here again it, it is asking the implementation for uh, the same stuff stuff let me use java class and here maybe let me create one more class for this and let let's print that let's try to print that okay so maybe i'll give that send task okay so let me give it a send task and and i need to add the interfaces java delegate right java delegate and i'm just giving finish it okay it is creating the nicely all the stuffs right this is also one of the method okay we no need to write it manually java delegate and everything our eclipse itself will help us to create those stuffs okay so maybe to mentioning separately i'm just mentioning here system dot out dot println calling another api okay so to differentiate that nothing else okay okay sorry yeah okay so that's all okay so so there is no difference okay make sure that there is no difference just only visualizing it is difference okay and i have to give this send task qualified name okay let, let if i copy from here okay you, you should know that as well right if i paste that path here you see that see it is different we no need of the file path we need we need of class path so send task copy qualified name now i if i give it nicely from the package structure it will be. okay okay that's all okay so let let's try to run this and let's see that okay let me run the application okay so hope application final stage of okay so i think some save error is happening my system it's not saving or what okay i saved it let me rerun it i'm just rerunning okay may, maybe we will not face this issue maybe some eclipse issue or uh, i'm not sure some Command WPM and okay, so again it is showing there. What is there? 
so could not parse ppm1 process uh, yeah the same actually so it is okay let me refresh this okay let me refresh this and i already saved this okay so now what i will do i'll restart it but everything whatever we done is perfectly correct okay so no worry about it so issue with my system okay now it started see nothing we done we just refresh the project okay there is some junk junk data so maybe it will be there okay okay let me open browser and let me hit the localhost 8080 okay let me give it as a username and password and let me go here let me go to cockpit let me see the process definition task learning okay so it it was showing on most of like send task right okay now let me go to task list and let me initialize this task okay i just started the task maybe first as a first step task learning it is assigned to somebody right welcome to techbus plus okay so that is fine where is my second okay let me claim this and let me give the ages something 20 and just complete it okay so that's all now let me go and see calling another ap it is called this as well okay so no, there is nothing difference okay so the everything is same hope you understood about send task right okay next i am going to teach you so next we are going to see script task okay so maybe we'll open another task okay so this task let me change it as script task okay so let me give the name as well the same so that it will be understand for above okay so same but if you see the differences actually here it is asking you that script format i'm going to add as a js js means javascript okay so inline script or external resource let let's do inline script okay so in the inline script let me print the value of what is that maybe we got a variable as age right let me print that age okay then what i will do if age greater than or equal to 18 maybe when we are giving the input as greater than or equal to 18 i'm just emitting one value okay maybe i'm just emitting one what is that one variable right so in the javascript we'll call it as a variable right so in the i'm just adding the javascript okay maybe you can give it as a groovy or whatever maybe here i'm just adding as a javascript so i'm giving the result as uh, uh, adult okay so i'm giving the result as adult okay so nothing else just assigning one variable into that actually okay else so we, we can put else part right so, so this is nothing but normal if else okay else okay just a javascript i'm writing don't worry about it okay result equal to child okay so i'm just closing this okay this result variable i'm just passing here this is the result oh, maybe you can give it whatever variable you want maybe you can take it as output if it is getting confused with the result okay let me let me give it as a output okay so this is the variable i need to emit it okay nothing else okay we just done it out okay so this is script task just i'm adding just printing the age first of all then i'm just emitting if it is age is less greater than 18 it i'm saying adult if it less than 18 i'm telling as a child okay so how i can validate that let me create one more user ta uh, service task okay maybe okay so what i will do let me create a service task Uh, 
and service stars I can give the name as H print just a name okay this is service age print this is just a service task okay so I'm just giving you a service task okay so what I will do in this task actually right so in this service task I will try to I, I will give one more implementation okay service age print right so let me create one more class okay so adding the interfaces java delegate again okay so here what i will do i will try to get the variable what is the variable we give it as a output right let me try to print the variable let me system dot out dot print ln how to get the variable right the variable what is that output is okay so how to get the variable okay so we have we we are having this execution right so execution dot get variable if you see that it is asking the variable name what is the variable name output right okay let me give that okay that's all i'm just stopping this server let me restart it okay that's all we've done it out okay so okay and i need to give the this service page print this is just additional to understand that is that really what is that the script task is working or not okay so the script task i am telling if it is a uh, what is that if the age is greater than 18 i am saying until otherwise it is child okay i am just passing that actually okay let me refresh the project and let me restart the server okay so service is restarting any error i'm not sure my system will give some time error okay this time perfectly it was run let me go to browser let me give local host 8080 i'm just giving a say we know we know my credentials okay so let me go into cockpit let me see the process task learning okay so center then service task and service age print so this is service task we need to see that how it is re really it is behaving okay let me go to task list uh, creating starting a process of task planning okay let me start a process okay it is giving some error cannot initiate the process definition task planning unable to evaluate the script while executing activity script or the age is not defined in evaluation okay so where is the age okay so here we are giving the age right let's see that why it is saying age is not defined Print. okay this is if the task is having the field as age right yeah then again why it is saying it should not tell that mm -hmm. this long default value nothing to worry about it service task okay let me pause here and i'll resume the video again okay to just i'll try to figure it out okay hey guys yeah so the issue is actually so when i draw the commander modeler right so what i done is that basically i dragged a single line and i draw that everything right so basically we should not do that actually so we should create a task and again then we need to create each uh, each task so from the task only we need to create another task actually. so what i did is done is that i just start and end the process 
then I created each task in between right that is what it is causing issue actually so I'm not sure this is mentioned the documentation or not I'm not sure about that actually maybe I will check it out actually and I'll update you in later okay as of now okay whenever you are creating some task just make sure that you are creating one task then again you are going and like this you are appending the task okay that is the right way of doing that okay okay so it is working fine so now what I am doing is that actually so I am just from the user task we are trying to pass the age right so in the scripting task what I am doing I am just printing the age okay if his age is greater than 18 I am just assigning an adult and then otherwise it is child then age service task is there actually so there okay so this is my service age print actually so here I am just what I am doing so whatever we are emitting right maybe whatever we are uh, emitting from here the output the result variables output i'm just printing that okay so maybe is that adult or the child i'm just printing that yes we are assigning adult or child in the output variable right okay so let's start the service okay i'm just starting the service let's try to run that okay okay so let me go and hit localhost 8080 and let me log in that okay so now if i go to task list i can start a process task planning okay so i'm just starting that so you can see here one task was created that is under the diagram we can see that it is under user task i am giving the age as maybe okay so the 25 okay so i am just clearing the log so welcome message was came i am just clearing the log then i am just completing the task see after completing so it is it was called another ap that is for send a task right then it i am just printing that the output is adult right so it is coming correctly so maybe if i try to give uh, i will create another task and i will try to give the less age okay so maybe i will give less than 18 and let's try that uh, maybe let me just give it 15 then in that case it should give it as child right okay so it is giving so this is what about the script task okay so basically we are just writing the javascript directly okay nothing else so i'm just printing that and if else condition directly i'm adding and i'm, I'm adding into the variable the finally i'm sending that variable into i'm just assigning as a variable okay that's all okay so hope uh, you are clear with service task user task and send task as well as the script task okay so let's see next class okay so other task okay